Happy to be with you today, your technology tutor, bringing you this tech quick tip. Today's topic, portable versus desktop HDD or hard disk drive. I'm your host, Chet Davis, and I'm your technology tutor. Again, today what we want to do is a quick comparison and understanding between the desktop versus portable hard disk drives. These are external drives you can connect up to your computer for storage of the vast amount of data that some of us use in today's computers, whether using a desktop computer, uh, a portable computer, a laptop computer. Uh, many of us have the need for additional storage space, particularly if you're shooting higher resolution photographs or if you're working with video. Now, a quick look, a desktop external hard disk drive or HDD looks like this one, for example, the uh, Porsche line from the company called LaCie. There's many manufacturers, but uh, this is what the desktop looks like. It sits next to your desktop computer and it's been out there for some period of time now a desktop HDD external hard disk drive does require connection not only to your computer but for the most part most every one of them also requires connection to power that makes it a desktop hard disk drive so it does require uh, a power source in addition to being connected to the computer contrast that with a portable uh, HDD uh, for example, this is a passport model from the folks at Western Digital. You can see it's much more compact, and it's something you can take with you. That's the name portable. Now, a portable requires a connection, but only one connection, not two. It is a single connection between the external hard disk drive and your computing device. It does not require a separate power source, so it gets its power from your connected computer or laptop, your desktop, it, it, down the USB cable. Now, both the desktop and the portable do require a USB connection, and, and they vary between, there's, uh, what, four different kinds of USB plug configurations, and you can get the adapter. Usually they include the most common adapters inside of the package when you purchase a new one, but it is possible at your local computer supply store, uh, you know, home electronics, technology supply store, to pick up a USB cable that will work for you. Let's do a quick comparison now between the desktop and the portable just to give you a sense of, you know, wh what's the difference? Why why should I consider one over the other, Chet? Well, let me tell you. A desktop, again, to review, does require AC power. It does require alternating current power. It does require you to plug it into the wall, into your power strip, next to your desk or wherever you're working with your computer. Um, one of the nice things, though, is that a uh, desktop HDD is more cost effective, some would, would say, in terms of the amount of storage space that's available contrasted to the price. For example, uh, this week, uh, the Sunday Ads uh, local electronics store had a two terabyte my passport drive that's a portable for one hundred ninety nine dollars contrasting with a desktop the same amount of storage space two terabytes for one hundred and twenty nine dollars so you're talking about one hundred and thirty versus two hundred dollars so much more cost effective if you know you, you you don't need it to be portable also most desktops will run at a higher rate of speed at the 7200 rpm versus the uh, 5600 rpm that's not of primary concern to you unless you're doing something like high-end video editing unless you're running applications that require the higher disk drive uh, it, it's important to know that now again their portables do have their benefits uh, they get their power via the USB cable so you don't have to you know carry the power supply and look for plugs around so uh, if you're out and about for example my recent uh, vacation uh, I happened to bring a, uh, a a portable HDD with me and was able to back up my photos and my video clips uh, directly from a laptop computer without having to worry about plugging in. I could do that sitting on the train or the plane or uh, in my hotel room. So very convenient in that capacity. Uh, a, a portable HDD is made to be rugged. It's made to take out with you. The desktops are not made to be bounced around. They're not made to travel with you. So if you plan on traveling a lot, you want to take extra care when you're moving your portable disk drive around with you. This is not to suggest that you should go ahead and take and drop kick your portable HDD. It's not meant to be you know, dropped from the top of the roof or to tumble down the stairs, um, but it's more likely 
to uh, be more reliable if it experiences, you know, bumps and jolts and, 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 and moving around and traveling. And as I mentioned, really one of the hallmarks of a portable drive uh, contrasted with a desktop is the convenience. The convenience factor of having it with you. It's, it's smaller, it's easier to take with you. Again, it's rugged and it doesn't require the external power supply. So there's a quick look, a uh, comparison, a contrast between the desktop versus portable hard disk drives. I hope that was of some value and interest to you. If uh, you have more questions about disk drives, if you'd like to recommend uh, topics for future technology quick tips, visit me at yourtechnologytutor.com. That's yourtechnologytutor.com. I'm happy to take your questions on the website. Thanks for joining me today.